recorded this too. Yeah, I will. By Shem. I was shy. By Shem Rakaki Bash. Uh, Wadi Al Bash Shem Yano Shai for allowing us to do another video through Spear. Wadi Al Bash Shem Yano Shai for giving us this truth of worms. Double honor, Sarah Pass and others at Great Millstone and Salutation and Blessing. So, like, here with the brother Nabala. Shalom. Wow. And, uh, we're gonna get to his lesson. Is, uh, I'm gonna let him, you know, speak on it. Go ahead, Nah. Uh, so, this topic's gonna go into how the MOTV is a physical thing. And, uh, the reason why this topic is being brought up is because you have these other groups out here that are trying to tell you that the MOTV is something else other than tell you exactly what it is. Here in GMS, we're telling you it is like it, like uh, the scriptures tell it to, it tells us to, like it says in uh, Habakkuk two, it says write the vision plain upon tables, and that's what we're commanded to do by Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. So to get into it, I'm gonna go to Revelations uh, thirteen and sixteen. Get what you just quoted to though, Habakkuk two. Oh yeah, okay, con. This is a Habakkuk, Habakkuk two. And I'm gonna start at verse one. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what shall I answer when I reprove. So the Lord has set up set up us here in GMS to be the watchman. Okay. If you're of the nation of Israel, your job is to be a watchman for the nation of Israel. And how, what is a what is the duties of a watchman? That means that you're watching what's going on here in the world, okay, and you're linking it up with the prophecies that are happening in the Bible. One of the prophecies that we speak about is the MOTB. And you niggas are false watchmen. You do uh like the scriptures say, you're sounding an uncertain alarm God. in a day of judgment. You're you're uh, and then some of you are dogs that what the dogs that kick that don't bark. We're set to set a, a you know sound an alarm yep. in, in the Lord's holy mountain because the devil it's about to come down with great wrath and what is a part of his great wrath that that see him that this this devil is moving forward with his agenda uh of that micro you know that that thing that hit him up that see him the, because i was watching the early yashwampa's video he was bringing out something from anonymous and esau has has been bringing this technology in stages First, it was in your hand, your you know handheld devices. Yep. Second, it's in your watches, and thirdly, it's gonna be mixing man with 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 the tech. And this devil is moving forward to this. They got this new thing, this uh, AI necklace, where the motherfucker speaks to you. It helps you out throughout your day. They're moving forward with this agenda. Uh, you niggas is breaking down scriptures wrong and, yeah. and, and coming out with false doctrines. This devil is about to come down upon all Israel, not just GMS, yeah. but all of us. If you're a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, this devil is about to come down down upon you. And a lot of you, Jake, aren't warning the people what this C-hip is. This thing, if you take it, because there's a there's a great warning if you take it there yep. will be construction yeah there will be consequences yep. it's not a joke it's not a game this is something very serious that you should be warning our people about go ahead yeah let's continue in uh habakkuk this is two and verse two the point is as the lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it get the word plain okay john the word plain is a Strong's H874 uh, uh the definition is uh, PL to make plain, distinct to make clear, to declare letters on the tablet so yeah, one of the definitions says to make clear so you're supposed to make clear what these scriptures are talking about that's why it says write it plain upon the tables so he may run that read of it so the people that come across these scriptures and have questions or they hear the things about the MOTB or they hear things about the C-HIP that they can ask some questions and they can be and we can break down to them what it is plainly not with not with no gimmicks not telling them that it's something that it's not tell them exactly what it is so they know what to watch for as time continues to move forward 
but you got these men out here that are not doing that and they're not doing it because they're they're in this thing to fulfill their own bellies and like the the apostle Gabar always say they they don't really know what this thing is truly about either they want your money yep like the elder of our camp always say Gabar they want your money it's all about money that that new bring a creating that new will so you can have that new eviction <laughs> invention so you can get paid mm -hmm. You niggas ain't about the, the 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 flock. You niggas about the dollar. Go ahead. I just want to grab this real quick. It's Ezekiel 3 and 17. It's a famous one, but it's an important one as well. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning of me. So the Lord has commanded us to give our people warning from him. It says, verse 18, it says, Well, I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die. Thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at thine hand. So if you, if you're, if the Lord sent you up to be a watchman and you're supposed to be out here warning the people and you're not telling the people what's coming to happen, not only is the Lord still going to, uh, to delete the person who's not, uh, who, who, who's not paying attention to the warning, but the one who's supposed to give the warning out, he's going to delete you as well because you're not doing your job as being a watchman. And that you can see that that caused um, Israel to be brought down in the past tense as well because you have men that wasn't being the proper watchman for the for the house of Israel, and that causes to be destroyed. Uh, just grab verse eighteen. I mean nineteen. It says yet. Yeah, if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness nor from his wicked way he shall die in his iniquity but thou hast delivered thy soul and that's what we're doing okay we're telling these people whether they want to hear it or not we're telling them exactly what the MOTB is we're telling them that it's the RFID CHIP we're telling them that and we're telling them that that's the times that we're entering to and those are the next things to be looking out for those are the next steps yeah we're entering those next steps the, the new industrial rebel of uh, uh revolution the internet of things is biblical it is a part of biblical prophecy what they're pushing for in this world which rather kamala or trump gets in office yep. they will be pushing for this agenda this is the, the next step in world history these devils going outside of the heavenly father and creating their see him to control everybody yep. this is where we're moving to you niggas ain't you don't you don't got it man these motherfuckers in california in california they're talking about controlling the sun you can purchase yeah, yeah, the purchase. sun yep, yep. for a certain amount of time in, in 2025 what is that t what are they going to tr try to do these niggas most likely going to try to block out the, the sun yep. regulate it these motherfuckers are moving forward with their agenda man J jake need to get their head out of that black bitch ass and get their head out of the dollar bill because this motherfucker is is moving man he's moving they're taking away free speech they're, they're, they're moving forward getting rid of the dollar this shit is coming man it is coming and it's it's fastly approaching is that nigga just got the nigga from uh what's that uh uh telegram just got arrested that nigga just got arrested for 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 allowing certain things to be said on this platform. You don't think they gonna come for us? Yeah. And then also, uh, Mark Zuckerberg. That's how you said it, Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg yeah. He said that on Meta, he said that the government was forcing them to block out certain things that were being said about uh, when the pandemic was going on about yeah. the you know about the all the information, yeah, all that yeah. shit. He said the government was forcing them to to block that stuff out. Showing you that what what they're what they're heading towards, yeah. showing you that you control, know, yeah, control, complete yeah. and utter control. Uh -huh. Elon, and you think that Elon and with Neuralink and Trump linking up, you don't think them niggas gonna push for that? Exactly. You don't think they're gonna push for Elon to shut all that shit down on X on free speech? Is cool. No, they're going to take all this, man. They are, hey, they're coming, man. This new world order. Is, is soon to be established, man. They're, yeah. they're putting in their building blocks to get this shit going. You got uh, it. Yeah, so I'm going to grab this. is Revelation 13. I'm going to start at 15. 
It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And what is that? That's talking about their NWO system, okay? It says that the image of the beast should both speak. Now, how is that going to speak? It speaks through their Congress and through, Congress and through Senate, okay? That's how they uh, get push these certain uh, laws and legislations and bills. That's how they get all those things uh, signed and get them to be made into, uh, I, I believe, laws. It says, uh, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So there you go right there. So if you're not going to conform to the to the type of lifestyle that they're, that they're going to be out here promoting and pushing, then what's the end going to be for you? You're basically going to be taken out. Because that old, that old system is back. Yeah. Through the Senate, like when you go into Revelation 13 and 11, through the, through the Senate, uh, the pl uh, Plebeians and Patricians, the, uh, uh, what's that, uh, what are they, Democrats and Republicans. Yeah, Democrats, yep, yep. That old system is back, but what? They're on the same beast. Yeah. And now they, now they have the technology. Now they can completely fight against the Heavenly Father with this tech. And of course they're going to lose, come on now. But they're going to do it. They're going to do it through their technology. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough, son. Yeah. You ain't crossing that. That's a... <laughs> ain't crossing that, nigga. Oh, man. Let me just grab this real quick just to back up what you said. About their technology, uh, how they gonna try to push it through their technology. But what was said in a, when you go to Daniel 12 and 4, it says, but thou, O Daniel, shut up thy words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And that's what has happened. Okay, the technology has been increased. Look how far they have came. Okay, just in in, in years. Matter a hundred hundred years, man. Look, look, look up real quick the uh, industrial revolution. Yeah. These niggas have 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 come fucking far in the last about a hundred and fifty years. Look how much they've accomplished. They got. They went from horse and horse and carriages to to cars in a matter of seconds. This, this shit. This shit is. This shit is a uh, issue by the heavenly father. You got it. Um, so I'm gonna read this first. It says the industrial revolution was a transition from creating goods by hand to using machines. Yep. It starts and ends are widely debated by scholars but the period the period generally spanned from about 1760 to 1840 how but, fucking was that to, to now yeah 1840 was that like about like, 200 200 years, years ago something like that something it's like, not almost 200 time. years ago it's almost not that long ago and they advanced like 184 184 185 yeah so they went, yeah that's not that long ago yeah. So then, when you go down, it says, "What are the four industrial that's three revolutions?" Three people. Yeah, it's three, three people. generations of people. That's yeah. three. That's three people. It says, uh, "What are the four industrial industrial revolutions?" It says, "The first industrial revolution coil in 1765. Second industrial revolution gas in 1870. The third industrial revolution electronics and nuclear in 1969. Then the fourth industrial revolution internet and renewable energy in 2000." Yep. And, that's what, and they really started pushing for that God. because even before the 2000 they were speaking about the, the MOTV but now we're in 2020 yep. a decade was that a decade later right from what, 2000, from 2000. Uh, two decades two decades two yeah decades. 10 yeah because decade is 10 uh -huh. two decades from 2000 and look how far their technology has come they, they have it they're ready they're, yeah. they're ready because I, I believe one of the, the IQM in our camp, I believe it should come, he posted in one of our chats that over there in Sweden, they have went completely cashless. Yeah. But if you know anything about Sweden, they've been, they didn't have the, the C hip over there for, years ago. Yeah, for Like, I minute. think back in 2018, yeah. I think they started already having, and they said a lot of people already have it over there. Yeah. So, like the brother was saying, they it's here. They, they already have the technology. Yeah. It just not worldwide. Not yet. And they're gonna push it to the whole world. God. And it's not gonna be right now. It's choice. You have people here in Michigan with the C. Yeah, my man. The nigga with the it. Tesla. Yeah, yeah, with the Tesla. He got it so he can be able to unlock his car door. And uh, I think it was something else, but yeah. Also, it, it was bank a, statements. I believe yeah, bank statements. It had his identification. Yeah, on ID it. on it. Yeah, had all of that. Um, also, it was a video a while ago. 
about how I can't remember where it was at, but it was this workplace that was giving uh basically giving people the oh, chance yeah, to uh, Illinois. Yeah. Ah, uh, what's that damn fucking company? I can't remember the company, but Three you know what I'm talking about. Shit like that. They was get, offering people the chance to get it and some people were getting it, some, some people, people say they it. were not gonna get it. But yeah, so they've been it's gradualism. They slowly but surely been been they do it for been years. In front of your face though. For years. It's been it's all in the movies. Yeah. It's all it's been in the movies since fucking two thousand in time with Justin Timberlake. Mm-hmm. Total Recall. It's been in the movies for years. Now they have they're they are ready, they ready to move forward. Because also these these elites, these people in these higher ups, okay, they know they they don't they don't understand the Bible, but they, they know, know the but they know the prophecies. Okay, they can they, they can get it. they can look at the things that's happening in the earth and understand that what's going on. The elites, so, I would say that the elites know the Bible. Yeah, the scriptures say they're wise and they. Yeah, they yeah. think they can overthrow the prophecy God, though. God, these niggas know where the Israelites. Yeah, they know that the Lord is no harm. You all, Harari said it. He said that the that Christians don't re- really understand that the kingdom of heaven. It's going to be something physical. God. The kingdom of heaven is not this magical, mythical land that's going to fly down from the heavens and and just you know come from the clouds in a giant city sitting on the top of a, a, a cloud is going to come down. No, the kingdom of heaven is a physical dominion that will be established by the men of the Lord through Yahusha that come back to the planet Earth mm. after the throning ceremony. God. They know what the fuck's about to happen, man. Huh? But they think through their tech, they think they can chip everybody. They think they can overthrow the prophecies of the Heavenly Father. But they're not. This is why, these, this is why they have... This is why China's trying to make an a, a alternate sun. Yep. Because they they know if you get rid of the sun and the moon, the Lord will dis, dis and all his covenant yep. with the children of Israel. Yep. They know exactly what the fuck they're doing. Huh? And while you niggas and you fucking speak roles... Are focused on the most dumbest shit ever. This devil is moving forward to 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 uh, straight fight against the heavenly Father and His people. All His people. No one's exempt. Okay. If like the brother said, if you are a Negro, Latino, or Native American, then you're going to be caught up in what's coming out for the for the Lord's people out here. Okay. Especially for you, for you, Jake, who actually are so, so called know your is like who supposed to be in this thing, who calling yourself teachers. But not doing the, who's not uh, precisely breaking down these scriptures and warning our people like you're supposed to. What does the scripture say? It says, Judgment shall begin at, begin at the house of Israel. Okay? And it starts with the ones who know that they're Israelites. You think that, you think he's not gonna come for you first? This nigga paints with a broad brush. You think he's gonna decipher for a fucking IUIC from GMS? We're the biggest threats out, out here, the ones who's out here who's teaching, the, who's doing the work, who's teaching the, the Bible. So he got, he wanna get rid of you first. He want to get rid of them first because those are the ones who know something. So let's get them out the way for the rest of these niggas. We can get them whenever we want to. They lost in the sauce. Okay? So we ain't worried about them. We paid for some of these niggas. Too. <laughs> some of you niggas paid for it. Keep it a buck. Some of you niggas paid for it. <laughs> some of you niggas are, some of you niggas just stupid. Some of you niggas paid for it. Some of you just don't. God. You got that revelation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh so this is verse 16, Revelation 13 and 16. It says that he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So then when you when you tap on here and you go to the word mark. Come on now. Shit. I can't bear with me. We in this terrible area. No service over here, brother. Service and here we go. Oh my goodness. There we go. Alright, so here's just the word mark. That is strong as G5480. It's a karagma. And you go to outline biblical usage, it says a stamp and printed mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist, the mark branded upon horses, then carved sculpture, graven work of idolatry, of idol, idolatry, 
idolatrous images. Now, when you read all of them definitions, where does it say that it's not going to be anything else? Where is it given where there's not going to be nothing physical? Okay. It, one of the definitions says a brand of the marker branded upon horses. And that's something they used to do back then. They used to put their brand upon horses so they know that, that so they can show that the horses was owned by them. And that's the same thing they used to do to us back in, back in slavery. Okay. They used to put their branding upon us, our, our, our people. To show that we're what in servitude to servitude to them, and they know who their owner was. Because you would have, say, you would have a a slave who will probably run away or get loose, and they will get they would get founded by I forgot who you, who y'all would call them. Who basically uh, the, slave control. Yeah, yeah, they will get founded by them, and they'll be able to identify. Pinkertons. Yeah, they'll be able to identify who who their owner was and what plantation they were um they were they were uh, under. That's the same thing he's he's trying to do. Like the scripture say, there's nothing new under the sun. And, ju and just to say, them, I didn't mean to cut you. No, off, you just to it. say, that's not the mark of the beast, though. It's because you Jake is impressionable as hell. <laughs> that is not the mark of the beast. Our ancestors, Negro Negroes, did not get the mark of the beast, but they did get branded God. to represent ownership. That look, this is my slave. But this this physical mark, like I said, engraving. It's going to be engraved in your flesh through what that needle. They're gonna put it inside of you, and you're going to that is going to represent ownership God. that you are Esau's Edom. You belong to Esau Edom. You don't belong to the Lord, and you niggas that don't belong to the Lord, you're gonna get you're gonna die. God. And this is something specifically the Heavenly Father said, "Don't take. Yep. Don't take this. This is something that you you niggas." that boasts in the law all day the lord said something this is i don't care what you say don't take this you don't take this see him you don't put this 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 karak karakma yep. or karaks yep. inside of you it's a cutting into the flesh you don't put it inside of you it's that simple isn't it that's it don't put it inside of you and if you do, you're going to be destroyed. Yeah. You want me to uh, grab Karak's? Yeah. All right. This is uh this is the root word for the root, for the word Karagma. It's Karak's. Okay. Strong's D five four eight two. It says a pale or a stake, a palisade, a palisade or rampart. Pales between which earth, stones, trees, and timbers are heaped and packed together. Okay, when you go to Strong's definition, it says to sharpen to a point akin to through the idea of scratching a stake by implication, a palisade or rampart, a rampart, military mound for circum circumvallation in a siege trench. So when you look into what a palisade is, it's something that you use to basically st to stick stab in something. Stab in the ground. Yes, to stab in the ground. So that's showing you that they're going to use something physical to stick inside of you. Stick your ass. So they can insert something in. And when you go to the root word of Karax and it's Grafo, Strong's G 1125, uh, when you read this outline, it says to write with reference to the form of the letters. It says uh, to write with the reference to the contents of the writing, to expressing characters. Uh, there's one of these I'm looking for. It says uh, to write one by writing in a written epistle to give information directions. And the reason why I'm saying that is because once they uh, stick that inside of you, it's going to be able to read. Why is it going to be able to read? Because all your information is going to be held on that on that device, on that seal. So that's why they're going to be able to, it's going to be able to read. And they've been showing you this technology throughout the years with their little barcodes, when they uh, have the little, your little credit cards and debit cards. When you scan it, what is it doing? It's able to read. It's going to be able to do the same thing when you have that device inside of you. Reads that UPC. Yep. And your ass going to be the UPC. It's going to be you. You are going to be the thing. And this is, it's fuck a social, fuck a social security card. They got you. Yeah, man. they got you now. They know who you are. They know who you are. Your information's in that one device. Yeah, because you, you think... And it's you not can never gonna, lose that. Yeah, it's not just going to be a device where it's health information. It's also going to be a tracking device, too. 
they're gonna yeah, what are they trying to do they're trying to count all the people on the earth because what ultimately they're also trying to do they're trying to be able to count the number of israel as well yeah. control and to control control this control the what people call the human experience mm -hmm. they want to control the human experience yep. the, the god-given rights that the heavenly father has given us not even just israel but people on the planet earth they're trying to take that away and this dude is he's completely adverse to the heavenly father in yep. every in every way scriptures say the spirit is the spirit him is not upright i'm gonna be paraphrasing that scripture so i'm gonna just finish this off this is revelations 13 and 17 it says that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so how can you be able to buy or sell if it's not going to be nothing physical you can't buy or sell with what they say sin you can't buy or sell what they say white woman none of the things that they're telling you that the MOTB is you're not gonna how can you buy or sell with it so sometimes it comes with critical thinking and common sense but like they say common sense is not so common and Jake like, like I said our, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge Jake just don't have it just you're don't stupid. see it. you're stupid yeah. that's what a lack of knowledge you're stupid the Lord called his people sodish. That means dumb. Jake is fucking stupid. I'm gonna say it. Jake is fucking stupid. You got some stupid Negroes, some Mexicans. Shit, we was stupid before yeah. this knowledge. Yeah. But the Lord opened us up. Well, yeah, I was dumb as hell. Yeah, ignorant. You Jake is Jake. Ain't, ain't got a fucking clue what's about to happen until you. Yeah. As long as they got a charger. Or a fucking cor I would have got my ass out the hood with the fucking Corvette like that. As long as they got got can can do that, we all good. We all good. Yeah. As long as the nigga have a PlayStation Five, everything cool. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Okay, it's great. That pass. Okay. Nah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. This nigga's gotta go. I just grabbed his last scripture because, yeah. like, like the brother said. It's a consequence for you taking this. And it's stated in the next chapter right after Revelation right 13. After. So this is Revelation 14 and verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. It says, And the smoke of their torment is sent up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or nor night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever and whosoever received the mark of his name. And that's what the end is going that's what your end is gonna be if you take that, okay? You're basically gonna catch the same destruction that's coming to America, which is what? That thermal that thermal nuclear destruction, as well as from the uh, the destruction from the chariots of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's what you're, that's what your end is gonna be. You're gonna partake in that lake of fire fire that's promised to happen to this place if you take that. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So that's just another warning to you, Jake, to you Israelites out here, okay? Do not take the MOTB, which is the RFID CHIP. Your life really depends on it. So, Lord willing, this video is edifying. We're going to close out by giving our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Shalom. Shalom.